Hi you guys, greetings, greetings and salutations. This is James here at Unique Perspectives. I wanted to shoot this video because, uh, you know, I think, you know, it's really important just to talk about or address the uh, reality that, you know, women or ladies, they have to be prepared when it comes to like online dating or even just dating in general. And, you know, there are some things that I think I as an uncle, because I have some nieces and I have, you know, great nieces as well at this age. And I really just, I, I care about what happens to women. And so I just thought I'd make a quick video. I know I don't have the, the fanciest video now. There's no background music right now. You know, I don't really care to do that, you know, but there's no fancy intro and anything like that. And I'm just in my room right now. So just wanted to shoot this. And I actually just wanted to talk about really just uh, four little tips when it comes to like meeting a guy that you've met maybe online or just in, you know, that you're about to meet for the first time. So just want to get into those things. I do want to encourage you guys to like and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the uh, topic at hand. So obviously there are a lot of us that rely on online dating. In fact, there are some ladies that I've met in person um, because I met them initially online. And sometimes it was supposed to be a date. Other times it was just kind of a meet and greet. But I think that ladies obviously have a lot to lose when it comes to being endangered and meeting some guy. And, you know, and even though there are guys like myself that, of course, I'm not trying to prey on anyone and all that. But there are men, obviously, that is willing to prey on a woman. So I just want to kind of give these general four tips. And hopefully they're helpful to somebody out there that's going to run across this video video and just check it out. So, uh, like I said, just want to keep it real simple. Um, I do have nieces. I do have family members, younger cousins. So I care about this very much. One of the first things I would definitely encourage a lady to consider when she's meeting a guy for the first time is I would actually tell somebody that you're going out and where you're going. I think it's one of the best things you can do to shoot a text to a group of friends or cousins or your grandma or nieces or whoever, and just let them know, Hey, I'm going to Starbucks to meet this guy for the first time at eight o'clock. Here's the address. Check in with me in two hours or three hours or whatever. And I think it's just important just to let people know where you are. There's a lot of weird situations where guys have done things or kidnapped women and stuff like that. And nobody knew where the woman was because she was very quiet about it. And I know that there are some ladies that are very private when it comes to this sort of thing. But, you know, we live in a world where there is a lot of danger. And I mean, some guys, you know, get endangered as well. Some guys get, you know, robbed. You know, some women set them up, you know, to get robbed online. But we know that even worse can happen happen to a lady. So very important. Please tell somebody where you are. Shoot them a text. Shoot your friends a text. Let them know that check in with you in an hour, two hours, just to make sure you're good. Now, it's one of the best things I think that you should do when you're first meeting anybody for the first time in, you know, public setting, private setting, but tell somebody, tell them where you are, tell them where you're going, how long you plan on being there, what's the guy's name and all that stuff. The second thing I would recommend for ladies is uh, make sure, at least for the first time you're meeting this guy, or maybe the second or third, and try to meet in public settings, uh, places where even if something weird was to happen, there's witnesses and there's people around. And there are some guys that they have a very predatorial sort of a, a mindset. So they don't want to be around too many people. They, they're going to want you to be in the car alone in the dark alley or, or come to their house or they'll want to go to your house alone. And so if you're going to have a genuine connection with somebody, you don't have to rush. You don't have to rush. You know, and think about that. You want to build something ideally with somebody that's going to be meaningful. So there's no rush. Uh, just make sure that you're keeping yourself safe. Make sure, Just like as a lady, you don't want to be getting gas at 12 o'clock at night. You definitely want to make sure that you're safe and you're in places that's well lit. There's plenty of people around and just in case the guy ends up being a weirdo or a pervert or whatever else, you can at least protect yourself because you have other people around you that's willing to step in and intervene. Uh, I think this third point is pretty basic, but make sure you have your own money and your own means to get home or whatever else. If you're texting your friends, texting your family members, I think it's important just to have somebody on the ready just in case this guy starts acting funny. There are situations where I've had friends that, you know, the guy, you know, was supposed to take them home possibly. And because he wasn't getting what he wanted at the end of the night, he decided not to be very cooperative. And so the ladies were stuck because they didn't have a ride home. And so they had to figure it out. And so I'm just saying, make sure that you have your own money so you can potentially pay for your date. I think some ladies in modern day, you know, is already doing that now, but make sure you have the means to pay for your own uh, Uber, you know, make sure you have your car or make sure you have somebody on the ready. Just last you text somebody just on the ready that's willing to pick you up crazy situation i'm not saying all guys are weird obviously some of us we were sane but there are some men that they just they're not mature and they're not ready to meet ladies and so there are some women that go through some really hardships some very difficult situations when they encounter a guy and the guy
guys just not mature. There's a lot of guys that if things don't go their way, they're willing to get violent. They're willing to get a little obsessive. Some guys become, you know, stalkers, you know, so you want to just be mindful of that. But have your money ready to pay for your own meal just in case that the guy wants to act funny. There's a lot of guys that make jokes about the fact that they are not willing to pay for a woman's a meal if the woman's not going to have sex with them, you know quite frankly, you know, so you, you never know the nature of a guy because you're going to get to know him. This is the first time or the second time or third time, but you want to just be mind to have your own money and you want to be careful for that. And I've even had family members, even for myself, you know, when I was in my twenties and a little reckless, I couldn't pay for something so I, I can get on the phone and I have a family member that's willing to pay for me. You know, I mean, at least, you know, it's good to have a plan B, right? Just make sure that you're prepared. You don't know who it is that you're dealing with. It's one thing if you're with somebody that is responsible and you already know them and they're very consistent and they tell you up front, hey, I'm going to pay. And that's one thing. But when you're meeting somebody initially for the first, second, or even third time, you don't know their nature. You don't know how they think. So you want to be ready to do that. Even if, again, you have somebody on the ready willing to pay for your brother, cousin, you know, somebody to come and pay or whatever. But you want to have that just in your mind. I guess the last thing I would ask, and this is something basic I would, I would imagine everyone would already know naturally, is you want to ask questions, you know. Uh, let's say the guy does seem pretty decent, but you want to ask questions. You don't want to trap yourself in one of those situations where a guy is going to, I don't know, potentially just be another sex buddy or he wants you to be just one of his casual people that he's sleeping with and he never wants to actually move towards something. Keep in mind that you don't want to date just for the sport of it. You actually want to date with a purpose. And as a Christian man, I believe that marriage is one of the most beautiful things on this earth. It's one of the most beautiful covenants and creations God has designed. Just beautiful to see a man and a woman come together in this marriage covenant, become one flesh and work together together towards something that's meaningful, a household that's meaningful, uh, building a family that's meaningful with a, f a strong foundation. But you can't do that if you're not creating boundaries initially and asking questions. Ask the man, what is his thoughts about marriage? What is his intentions about marriage? Does he see himself getting married? Does he see himself having children? Do he, where, do, where does he see himself in five years or 10 years? It's okay to ask these questions. This is your life and this is your time. So I just wanna share those things. I do have nieces, so I care about these topics when it comes to ladies. Um, but I hope this was helpful. It's, it's not really fancy, it's just like some simple video, but I really wanted to share that. God bless you guys. Take care. This is James here at Unique Perspectives. Please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate your support. God bless you guys and I'll see you in the next video.